What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about a really quick experiment that I actually tried just a little bit ago, moving money that is sitting earning 0.5% interest in Ally over to Webull to gain 10 times more on the cash that was just sitting there for a lot less time. So to get things out of the way, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing with my money and I think the lesson that I've I've learned and want to reiterate with it. With that out of the way, I think what I'm gonna talk about is the Weeble promotion that I had used a little bit ago, which the video I posted in the very beginning, but here it is again and also what happened this time with this promotion. And of course, what I really think uh, the lesson is out of all this, right? So to get things kicked off, the very first Weeble promotion I used just to drop a little bit of money in and let it sit there for a little while and earn free stock. That essentially equated to earning more than my high yield savings account, which is with Ally. And it was interesting because it, it was about the same amount of risk if you really think about it. For those of you that watch this channel, you know that I use Vanguard as my, both my retirement accounts and then my self-managed brokerage. And then I do use Robinhood, but it's really more to accurately and timely check uh, call and put options. So the actual bid ask spread, a little faster than what Vanguard does, even though I still utilize Vanguard. Now I did do a test as well with Robinhood and Webull to see which was gonna be better. Robinhood I used for an AdWords campaign and earned a little bit of free stock. And then Webull simply required you to deposit a certain amount of money, leave it there, and then earn a certain range in free stock. Anyways, after that promotion, I deleted Webull because I was not using it as much. I received an email on a promotion that was highly targeted. So that is one point here, is that not everybody using Webull might have received this email, which is fine, but I'm sharing for the people that did, this is what you could have earned, right? They lay that out very clearly in the email and the disclaimer. So remember, I did delete Webull, so this promotion did come through and it said, we've missed your Webull, get up to 10 free stocks. It explained the duration, which is July 20th to August 20th, which I'll note there in a second. And then the stock claim date is actually August 25th. Also another note there is, you can pull your money out on the 25th, but the stocks don't settle for a couple days afterwards, which I did learn. And it actually ended up benefiting me, but it's another another point risk there. Are you participating in this deposit promotion? Yes, All right, so I already, already walked through that. A couple of notes that this promotion did have was it is user targeted. So not everybody actually received this and it doesn't guarantee the same rewards as everybody else who did get an invitation to participate. I think that's just a CYA for them. What's interesting is the you'll be able to claim your free stocks on August 25th, right? It talks about the deposit amounts, which we'll talk in the tiers in a second. And between July 20th and August 24th at a certain time is your total net deposit, right? So if you pull out any money before then, then you can drop a tier or maybe not get any stock at all. You've got to claim the stock within 30 days and it's going to be delivered to your account within 15 days once you claim it. So all this fun stuff here. And if you initiate the withdrawal at the very bottom there, then you might not actually get any stock, which again, just a CYA for them. So what was fun here is instead of waiting July 20th and I wanted to be smart with my money, I picked the specific tier, which we'll talk about in a sec, picked a specific tier and put in the cash about August 4th. Right, so I only had to wait until the 25th. But as you guys know, you wanna plan for the bank transferring money over. So I, I did it a little early and at the end of the day, the money was only in there for 21 days, which is a really important thing to note. It's less than a month. And after I share what I earned, it's gonna be pretty surprising. The second promotion that we talked about had a stock that was actually in between $8 and $200. So realistically, the lowest amount of money if you just did the highest tier there, 10 stocks for $8, you're going to make 80 bucks, which even on the low end, you're blowing out what you would have made on a high yield savings account, which I had and did the math on. So talking about the tiers for a second, you've got your two free stocks, which is the tier from $1,000 to $5,000, five free stocks, which is $5,001 to $20,000, and then 10 free stocks from $20,001 above, right? 
So again, they remind you of the net deposit, what that actually means. And I think what's, what's fun here, and I actually just noticed an error. I'm reading this and I'm reading my notes, but it's actually $8 to $1,600 is the range of the stock, which is even better. So that's the actual information on the promotion. For this promotion, this is what I did. August 4th, I put in the actual money. I went for the highest tier, which was $20,000, $20,001 plus. So I, I literally put in the exact amount that we wanted to put in and left it until August 25th, which you can pull out on that very first day. Your stocks are available on the 24th. I ended up earning $88 in free stock. You can kind of see some of the stocks here as I'm rolling through and actually accepting them. What's really fun is that $88, the 10 stocks that I got actually ended up turning into more, right? 96.46 is what I actually pulled away. And, and just to do a little bit of math there together, 96.46 over $20,000 equals 0.4%. At Ally, the annual interest is 0.5%, which is pretty crazy. So in a month, I earned 0.4% on the cash that I pulled over, and it was actually in less than a month. So realistically, the, if nothing changed to the principal, which is not the case here, 96.46 divided by 21 days, right, because that's how long it was in there, times, let's call it 30.4, which is the average month based on Google, thanks Google, $139.63 in a month. Multiply it by 12, nothing changes for that $20,000, 8.3%. So 8.3% versus the 0.5% for Ally. Again, this is not every single month, so I did do that based on an annual basis. That's not really a, a true number, but it helped run things through my head and help me justify a lot of this stuff. So I was pretty excited with what I walked away with and it's just a good reminder to get creative with your money. Now, the other piece to all this is, well, what are the risks? What, that, that's how I think about a creative way to actually use money, right? The, the risk really is moving your, your money over to something that you're not too sure. But the, the good news here, and you gotta research this kind of stuff, is Weeble is actually a member of SIPC, which actually protects, and this is the, the, uh, the, the definition here, protects security customers of its members up to $500,000, $250,000 in cash. So your cash is actually insured, and I'm sure anybody watching this video, including myself, is not putting $250,000 of cash there because you probably earn a lot more somewhere else, right? So I think that's that's the, the one of the biggest risks for me, and I was thinking, well, I, I mean, if Ally is FDIC insured, why not? So I felt pretty good about doing that. The other risk is that the stocks that you earn actually go down before you can sell them, in which I, I did. I sold them and, and, and kept the money. Uh, that, that case is that you could drop down in terms of a little bit of return, but again, doing the math, even the minimum, I felt that if those stocks had actually tanked within 15 days, then one, I had some serious other problems, and two, that meant that I'm still probably earning more than my Ally High Yield Savings account. Now, why was this a really good reminder for me? Because uh, while this is not $1,000 in a month, this is not like my dividend portfolio, this is not like real estate, I, I find it really exciting to make your money work for you. And this was just a good reminder to keep my mind extremely open to anything that pops up, right? It took me about 10 minutes total to calculate this and then move my money over to Webull with the same amount of risk to earn more money. Again, it's only about a hundred bucks, but that's a hundred bucks that I can use elsewhere, use it on options, buy into a share on some of these stocks, whatever it may be, right? So I, I think that that's, just reminding me to continue to stay open and always look for ways to make your money work for you outside of just the traditional ways to do this. And that means that you have to stay involved with what's actually going on. The other note to make is I talked about $20,000 and some people don't have that sitting around in cash reserves to go ahead and put it into Weeble. That's okay. I did some of the math on the other tiers as well. And even for the $1,000 to $5,000 you earn two free stocks, that's $16 on the low end, that was still 1.6%, right? So you can still earn more than 
if you have that money in a high yield savings account or if you have that money in a bank account. So no matter what, this promotion, while it is user targeted, they have those tiers for a reason. And I felt that was pretty interesting because it, it doesn't really leave too many people out and you can still make this work. And so I, I think that ties back to the first piece that I just mentioned, mentioned is that that's the, the way that you're thinking and the way that you're keeping your mind open to these new creative ways to, to make a little bit of money. This is a pretty short one, but I just want to share the results of the second time I used Weeble just for this exact example, the actual exercise that we use, see if I can make more money than my high yield savings account, and I sure enough did. <laughs> so again, another reminder is that this this really isn't financial advice. It, it's not something that I would do and say, this is part of my financial plan, getting to financial freedom. This is just something that was fun, that was presented, and I kept my mind open and could make a little extra money based on moving my money to a different spot. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like anything that has to do with financial freedom, investing, and of course, a little bit of travel life when we get back to all that fun stuff. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday. See ya.